We're gonna go up my uh, makeshift little ladder here, which is typically normal on most job sites, to be honest with you. This is gonna be my shower. So this is gonna be like a nice, beautiful bench area in here. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. I'm so excited to have you here today because everything is kind of just calm right now. Everything is cool, my house is covered up. As you've seen in the previous videos, all the episodes, first off, I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching to this point, but now we are ready for a plumbing rough-in. Okay, if you don't know what that means, if it's like plumbing, rough-in, what is all that? Uh, that means the part of the build where the plumbers come in and they do the piping and all those different things first. So before you get your toilets, your sinks, your faucets and all that good stuff. So they'll be running all the pipes through the house. There'll be you know PVC pipes, the, the drains, the areas like that. They might even put the tubs in uh, in this particular video I don't know if they're bringing those but we shall see however what I am excited for is to bring you through the house with all the boards being down with all this framing done you can finally get a feel for what this house is going to actually be and to me this is gonna be my home so the house has become a home to me and I feel so good about it we're gonna go up my uh, makeshift little ladder here which is typically normal on most job sites to be honest with you so we're gonna walk into my mud room this is where you take your shoes off and I'm home. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. I'm so excited. And right in here, we're going to go into the plumbing of the house. We're going to talk about what's going on. We're going to have a washer and dryer here. And Mr. Cameraman, do be careful and watch your footwork as you climb up that uh, makeshift ladder right there. So we're going to have a washer and dryer in this mud room right here. I finally learned what this room was. I always just call it the room where you take your shoes off. And then going in here, we're going to have my office. Not sure how I'm going to kind of place my desk, which is probably going to be right here. There's going to be no, uh, no, you know, utility stuff running through here because my office is just going to be one nice little room. My feet are kind of cold, so I'm gonna throw my Burks back on folks. If you follow me into this area right here, this room is my master bedroom. So if you've seen it in my renderings and I'll show you again right here, you've got the master closet to the left. There's going to be nothing ran through here. There needs to be no, you know, plumbing, nothing going on in here. But if you jump into here, my master bathroom is going to have a nice vanity area right here. There's going to be a sink, a sink. This is going to be my shower. So this is going to be like a nice, beautiful bench area in here. It's going to be tiled up. There's going to be glass gonna be beautiful and then this is gonna be the toilet area right here so there's gonna be a toilet right here there's gonna be a door that closes nice private space I'm not a big fan of the bathrooms that are just like open and there's a toilet and then a vanity and then you know like if you know you live with your wife or whatever it is then like one person's washing their hands and one person's using the, the restroom and you can literally like just see that person I'm not a big fan of that so I will have a door there this will even have that glass like I said and then there's gonna be a nice standalone tub right here so nice window fresh light you're vibing you set the mood you light some candles you're chilling but that's what this master bathroom is going to be let's head over to the kitchen area in the house and we are going to go around this wall and we're going to pass the pantry so this gives you an idea of how big the pantry is going to be right here look at this huge space going to be nice shelving some fresh light coming through all kinds of snacks fruit snacks water all the healthy good stuff kale chips you know it maybe some hummus dip you know carrots I don't know but anyways going into my kitchen area right here I'm gonna have like a fridge gonna have like oven all this good stuff and then my sink is going to be right here so you have this fresh light coming through you'll be able to wash my hands right here blah 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 and right now I'm standing on top of my island so I'm not sure you know exactly what I'm gonna be going into with all my choices I got to get with my designer on that but I'll be able to run all my utilities through here, make sure that I got my water coming in through here. And then of course, that's gonna to lead to my covered back porch, which is literally covered right now with Tyvek. However, let's head over into my second bathroom. And right here, it's good enough space, okay? It's big enough for, you know, if you have kids or you have guests over, whatever it's gonna be, 
It's gonna have a nice bathtub right here and I'm actually gonna tile the sides of this. I'm giving y'all like the design stuff, which is like way early, but just so y'all know what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna have some tile going up, maybe like the subway style. Not really sure, I'm still deciding on that, but there is gonna be a nice tub right here. You can soak, chill, light a candle, nice little vanity area so they'll run some piping through here with all the plumbing as well. Then if you just show that side of the house, you got that one bedroom right there. Then we're just gonna show you this side right here. Not really go inside the room because it doesn't have anything to do with plumbing. We got this bedroom right here, and then we're just gonna head back out there because really, that's the entire house. It's three bed, two bath. I'm excited that the plumbers are on the way. I wanted to give you all that small walkthrough before they actually started when it was loud again and people drilling through the wood and all that good stuff because every time there's work happening, it's like ba 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 There's just so much chaos going on. I know I'm talking for a really long time, but I really wanted to give you the feel of the home because this is something that I'm really, really, truly excited for. So let me just get inside my refrigerator real quick. I'm gonna stand right here as it's getting colder because I'm standing in my freezer part actually. So anyways, we're gonna continue this video. The plumbers are gonna get here. They're gonna get straight to work and this thing is going to progress. So thank you so much for watching this point. I hope you enjoyed my MTV crib tour and now we are going to get straight to work. So let's do it.
of the morning to you folks. We are here back at my house build and the plumbers actually got a little bit later start yesterday. They had to finish another job which was totally cool because I had other stuff to do. Got a lot going on in my life right now at the point of this video. Uh, so they are here this morning. They are straight to work. We've got the tubs coming in. They're going to be able to set the guest bathroom tub and the master tub is actually going to be a standalone so that comes in after the tile and everything is done. But we do need a measure because with the issues that we had in some of my other videos where the house got smaller on the left side of the house on this side where the master bathroom and bedroom is by about eight inches because the blocks were laid on the wrong side of the pin we are making sure that the standalone tub will be able to sit with a centered you know faucet crane or whatever you call those things coming in where you get the water from so anyways we're gonna go inside get more progress they're killing it they are absolutely working hard and working fast so I'm excited to see this progress even more so let's get inside let's get to work and let's see this house come together Alright y'all, so I'm so glad that y'all have been able to watch to this point. I'm here under my crawl space. The plumbers are gone and they are done with everything. I can't wait to show you inside what they did in installing one of the tubs and then I have my freestanding tub there as well. But just seeing all this piping going underneath the house, you know, if you've never seen how a house is roughed in, this is the process. It's nothing glamorous, it's a bunch of glue, it's a bunch of, uh, what is it, I think primer is what it's called, the purple stuff and then you put the glue and you put all these piping, you got the water lines, you got, you know, the boo-boo lines, everything you need is down here. So this is what it looks like when you have a crawl space. Some people obviously pour slabs and they have their piping going within the concrete. So once it's done, it is done. Um, plumbers would come in, do the piping, then they would pour the concrete on the slabs. But because I have this crawl space right here, we were able to run everything underneath the house. But we're going to run around the front, jump into the front of the house, and we're going to show you exactly what's going on inside and check out that interior. So let's go. Alright y'all, so as you see me coming into the guest bathroom right here, you see they got all of their pipes done and everything. So this white pipe going up is actually the vent pipe. So if you have water coming in your house or flowing through the house, you need it to be able to breathe. And so you can see they actually set the tub right here. A little interior design sneak peek I'm going to tell you here is I'm going to have tile going all the way around and up and it's going to be very beautiful. So they got all that installed right there as you can see and then there's going to be the shower head and it's filled with water. That's how they know it's working and it's not leaking. So we're going to go into the other side of the house into my master and we're going to look at what they did over here. Oh, they got my kitchen stubbed out so you can see that's done right there. We got my plans on the floor and then we got stuff that's running to that kitchen sink um, that's going to be right there above or underneath the window. And then again, you see the piping that's going up for the vented area, which actually comes out above this room right here and you can see it goes out right there. So anyways, let's see what they got done in here. I had to go somewhere, get some things done. That's gonna be where my freestanding tub is. This is everything that's done for the master vanities right here. Very good progress, y'all. You can see everything is done. Tile shower gonna be right there. You see that. 
there's the shower head area, and then of course the toilet area is also done. So I'm really happy with the progress, and the group of guys that came out, huge shout out to them. They always do awesome work. They've been working with my family for a really, really, really long time, so I am excited that they were able to come in, knock this out. I think they had four or five guys here. I mean, they were flying through it, um, and you know, they came a little bit later yesterday, knocked out most of it, came today, finished it all up, um, so it didn't even take them a full day of work. So really appreciative of that. I think it's about time to end the video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that entire like walkthrough at the beginning with everything being cleaned up here. Um, I'm extremely excited with all the progress that is going on. So why don't we end out the video? I'm going to do that over there in the garage. So let's do that and let's continue the great progress of this house. Alrighty y'all. I'm so excited with all the progress that has happened. The plumbers have knocked this thing out. It didn't take them very long. Uh, with a house this small, well it's not small, you know, it's all per about perspective, you know, whatever a big house is to you and whatever small house is to you. But to me, three bed, two bath, they were able to knock out the plumbing rough in pretty quickly. This is really, really awesome because now the next step that's coming is the HVAC rough in. So we'll be getting all the air units, everything, all the, you know, the pipes, the vents going through the house and mine are actually going to be from the bottom of the floor. But I'll tell you more about that in the next video. Right now I'm excited that all the plumbing is done. I am so excited with that. I'm so happy with the progress, but I don't want to keep talking your ears off because we're here for work. We're not here to talk, okay? If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, but especially TikTok because it's so easy to edit and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nikospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, grab you a hat, a hoodie, a crew neck, a t-shirt, whatever it is. Support me if you want to, and if you do, I appreciate you so much. Without further ado, I hope you have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.